Today, I'm reviewing the sub pack, which is very exciting. Now, this it may look like a box, but we'll open it up and we'll unbox it a little bit. Uh, I've already had it out of the box, so that's why I can tell you about it already. But let's just uh, get it back out of the box. You can see because I wanted to show you how nicely boxed it is. So this is the sub pack. Now, if you're wondering what it is, see, look, it's very nice, uh, very nice little box container here. So. Uh, there's some nice leads, cables, a few booklets, that kind of thing. So there you go, that's the box. So this is the sub pack. You may be asking yourself, Streaky, now what is a sub pack? Well, a sub pack is if you've got headphones on or if you're in a studio where you can't play too loud or if you're in a studio where you haven't got any bass speakers, then if you want to feel the bass rather than just hear the bass, that's where the sub pack comes in. Now, this sub pack is the sub pack number two, they did have a sub pack number one, I think they're at, don't make that anymore, and that was just a backpack. This one here is also to go on the back of your chair here. So what you have, you have these straps that are on the sides, and there's a strap that goes on the top here, and that straps over the top, and then these can strap around the side, so if I show you that. You can do this with it, or you can, you could, if your chair allowed it, slide it down the back of the chair so you don't see it. And, uh, or you can still, with this crafty design that they've done, uh, put it on your back. So it's got, you can still do all that, but we won't get into that because it's, you know, it's a bit, it's like putting on a parachute, basically. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world to have on your back, but if you need it, I guess in DJ scenarios where you're out or you're moving around, or if you're a live engineer and you want to feel some bass as well as hear it, then you'd put it on your back, wouldn't you? But in a studio situation like this, you're more likely just to place it behind you like a cushion and just sit with it. Now, it comes with, it's attached all the time to this little box that they've made. And this box has power button, there is a battery light, a, a Bluetooth light, and then this kind of volume knob, and it's detented in the middle. And then there's a line in, and there's also a headphone. Now, the reason why this is, is because there is a battery in the back here. So you don't have to have this plugged in all the time, although you can, because I did, but it will have its own battery charger. So if you want to move around with it, you can. Um, also then the Bluetooth, you can put headphones on it with Bluetooth, so you can power it with Bluetooth. Or you can plug directly into this and then come back out of this for your headphones. So basically what's happening there is it'll probably have a crossover or it's um, just taking a direct feed from it so that it can power just the bass through this and then the rest of it through your headphones. Um, so that you can hear what's going on. Yeah, that's the basic pack. It's all really nice sort of matte finish, so it feels really nice. This is really well made. I must say, it's uh, the detail on this is very nice. Uh, this is like kind of a faux leather. Yeah, it's foam back, so it's definitely not, I don't know many foam backed animals. So that's definitely a, a definitely placky. And, uh, and that's kind of, it's kind of soft, but not too soft, and then some nice little cushion sides like a little chair. So uh, you may have seen these around, the little handprint on the back. They seem to, I looked on their website, they've got a lot of people uh, using it in dance music, which obviously is quite important for. And so let's get on, what does it do and how does it feel? Now, when I first put it on, it's a, I put it behind me and I had it on full welly and it was vibrating my lower back where my stomach is and I was feeling a little bit sick. It was a bit much. If you have it on full blast, you just think, oh my God, it's, you know, especially when the bass is going, it's kicking in. It's just, vi it's just basically vibrating like this and it just makes you feel a bit sick. But what I did, I turned the intensity knob all the way down and then just worked it up so that I was just tickling it. And the thing that's weird about it is, is that you do, although the speakers are here and you're listening to the speakers, just by having that slight immersive rumble behind you, it just sort of brings you into the speakers a bit more. It's quite strange because when you bypass it, it the, the, instead of you're kind of immersed in the sound and then when you bypass it, the speakers kind of go there again 
sort of disassociated with the speakers, but when you kick it back in, you feel like you're kind of part of the speakers again. It's it's similar sound to when you play a system really loud. And when I was at Metropolis, they had massive PMCs, and I used to really blurt those out to get that kind of feeling because it sort of just got me into it a bit more. So that's what this is doing so that you're not wrecking your ears with all the top end that you want so that you can get that bass feel, but you're getting that bass feel and you can still keep the speakers quite low and then you can adjust the intensity so that you're just getting a small amount of rumble to keep you in the kind of feel of it. And rather than, you know, having loads of it, so it's like really overpowering you. So I don't know how they're making this. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's uh, immersive. It's new. I like that kind of thing. So it uh, definitely gets a thumbs up or maybe a hands up uh, from me. Uh, I do know someone who bought one instead of a subwoofer, but I would suggest don't do that because I think you still need to hear what's going on. I don't think you can just feel it. I would say it doesn't replace a subwoofer, but it certainly will give you a nice feel and get you involved with the music a bit more. Definitely worth checking out. They retail for about $300, so not massively cheap, but not massively expensive. Once you've got one, then I think you'll probably want to keep it and use it on most of your studio applications because it just kind of gets you involved a little bit more. But like I say, go easy on the intensity or you'll be bathing all over the studio. There you go. That's the Subpack S2. Uh, if you've used one, I'd love to hear in the comments from you how you've used it and how often you're using it or whether you're planning on getting one. And uh, yeah, till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.